guys, this is Matt from Studios, and welcome back to Advanced Weapon Tactics! Here with me I've got Little Mao, and uh, this is my channel, and uh, today we're going to be testing the M48 Tactical Tomahawk. We got two versions, the Apocalypse Green version, as well as the Black, and uh, I bought these both on Amazon. The links will be in the description as well, um, but I will say that I don't know if it was because of the seller, if this was, I don't think this was used, but I noticed that the M48 Apocalypse Green version, the blade was definitely sharper, so uh, this is the one we're mainly going to test in the video. And then, uh, show them the harpoon map. Here we've got the tactical harpoon, we fastened <coughs> basically a knife onto a shaft, and we'll be testing this on the chainmail, as well as an avocado. Or That's acorn squash. Acorn squash. Yeah, and uh, with this, it's uh, about a $20 blade, it's a harpoon. When I got it in the mail, I was um, a little bit disappointed. I thought that the the blade was going to be a bit bigger, but I was talking to my friends. You know, the the harpoon was uh, at least from their experiences, it was small. The blade was a bit smaller, so um, definitely the blade is not as as big as you would think. But um, that doesn't mean that it's not as powerful. And uh, it comes with three little holes that you can drill in a screw, and then I uh, wrapped it with some burlap rope, and then. Uh, we also got the uh, M48 tactical shovel, and uh, this is more like your multi-tool purpose, and this would be great for survival. Um, different things like that. Um, they're all made by United Cutlery, and uh, the links will be in the description to uh, Matt's channel as well. And uh, let's get testing. Lil Mao presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the show that tests the lethality and survival skills of weapons with improvised tactics and truthful reviews. Do not try this at home. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so we got Matt with the spear, and he's, he's testing the spear on the acorn squad. Ready? Three, two, one. So here's the aftermath of the acorn squash. It was uh, pretty devastating. It went completely through the, um, the squash. And uh, one swing right up to the tip of the spear. And uh, there's no damage to it whatsoever. I mounted the harpoon onto the stick. All right, so today we have the um, M48 tactical shovel. And uh, we're going to test this on a coconut see how powerful it is and uh, for this test uh, I'm just gonna do a straight chop because I don't think it's gonna go flat through that way because of the curvature of the shovel and then um, so we're gonna test this edge the non serrated edge is that in the video so we're gonna test this edge and then if that doesn't succeed we're gonna test the point so I'm gonna do a just avert a chop like that. Three, two, one. So we're gonna test the coconut with the M48 tactical tomahawk. Want some, bud? All right. So uh, we saw that the, the the blade axe side and the pick. We saw the shovel and we saw the spear. And now we're gonna test if the M48 tactical uh, pickaxe side can go through chain mail and uh, this side I doubt it because of the surface area of the blade against all the rivets I don't think it would be able to but with this side it might be able to I'm going to see if it can pierce it and then there's only one thing to note that the the links are bigger than the actual pickaxe so it is going to do some damage to the head um, and we'll see how that plays out what are your thoughts and predictions? Well, it's obviously not going to go through with the blade side, but I predict that it probably will go through with the pickaxe tip side. Alright, so um, for this one, I'm going to use the pickaxe and I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle down and we're going to see if it can hit the pickaxe. Three, two, one! That's impressive stuff. Um, you know, for, it is cheap chain mail. It's like $25 on Amazon. We'll put the links in the description, but um, 
they went pretty through it. I was actually really surprised because I tested this on bone and it was not able to go through a bone uh, like uh, like one of my dog's bones but that was with the, this side and it may be because these aren't very sharp here and but all the pressure was built up right into that and that went right in his temple so if this was a real person that'd be a kill shot and I'm gonna have my brother um, Matt Nod Studios and he's gonna take the tomahawk side and he's gonna try to see if this blade can go this side all right, I'm going to do a 45 degree strike right on the head with the blade side instead of the pickaxe side like Adam just said. Three, two, one. Any damage? It made cuts on the rivets, but that's the only one. So with the blade side, it made some cuts on the rivets. The blade seems to be all right. I'm going to test it from this side and See how it works. Three, two, one. No visible damage to the blade. And the chain mail definitely withstand the blow. Since the blade of the tomahawk did not work, and we've experienced that, and it was only the fine point, we're going to try the fine point of the harpoon and uh, this is a little bit of a thinner of a blade so it, it might break it might not we're gonna test it on the chain mail and see how it goes three two one go all right so as you see the tactical harpoon did go through the chain mail and uh, it's because the pressure is definitely pointed in there and we're gonna see if there's any damage to the blade whatsoever so uh, remove that and now the blade is actually really good. Um, Christ surprised for a $20 harpoon. But uh, it went through the chain mail. And we're going to. Um, it didn't really break. It broke one rivet in the chain mail. Um, it was mostly because the point is so thin that it was able to go through, like I said. And uh, let's examine this wound. Uh, that might not be a kill because it's probably only a couple centimeters deep, but it's definitely enough to stop a target and this guy is definitely going to need some medical attention. Alright, so we're going to test the tactical shovel and we're going to test with the blade side first and then the point. And again, this has a large surface area so that might not penetrate it. Maybe the point will. Who knows? We'll see. Three, two, one, go! It did break some links, but it broke two links, but this guy is still alive and moving. Uh, I don't think that would be a kill shot. The only reason why it happened was the thing went through the foam because of the sheer pressure. So again, this really didn't work because of the sheer surface area and the chain mail was able to stop it. I'm now going to try again through here with just the point. Yeah, keep in mind with that hit. If he got hit with that, he would at least have a concussion. Yeah, He'd be down. That, 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 that's a lot of force going into his dome, so it would definitely hurt. So we're going to test it right here from the back of the head, and I'm just going to stab away. Count down. Three, two, one, go! And, uh... Even with the point on the tactical hammer, it did not go through the chain mail. So what you're pretty much looking at is for chain mail piercing, and this goes for any type of weapon, swords, blades, whatever, that the point needs to, it, it really needs the point to really do any damage to the chain mail. If it's any sort of blade, it wouldn't. Even at the point on this, there's still too much surface area to penetrate the chain mail. And uh, I hope you liked our videos. And uh, please remember to comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, I'm Little Mal from the Adam Tung channel. And this is Advanced Weapon Tactics. And this is Matt from our studios. Remember to subscribe.